Hello, it's uh, Boyd Martin here. Uh, what you're looking here is uh, my horse, uh, Sesterleg or Thomas. We've uh, just spent the last week at Will Fordry's beautiful farm down here in Southern Pines preparing for uh, this year's World Equestrian Games. I'm doing this video basically because I'm bored out of my mind. Riding one horse a day takes its toll. And uh, I thought I'd do this video for uh, the owners of the horse, Chris Turner and Tommy Turner and TJ. And uh, I don't know my, uh, my website, my the, the fan club on our website. And anyone out there that might be interested. So we spent five days down at Fordry's place. And uh, the two guys you see on the screen there are Scott Hassler and uh, Eric Devander. They're, uh, Scott's uh, the dressage coach for Philip and myself. Uh, unfortunately, Silver's at home with our newborn baby, um, and she's only going to be able to make it down for, for hopefully just Saturday and a little bit of Sunday uh, for the World Equestrian Games and try on. So these two gentlemen have been uh, trying to get me on track. This is the, uh, the first day of the, or the second day of our training camp. I think this is on the Wednesday. And we also had our, um, Judge Christian Landot come and uh, watch all the riders for the American team school their horses. And uh, he was really helpful, actually. He sort of communicated to our coach, Scott Hassler, of what the picture the judges are looking for in eventing, which is slightly different to dressage. Dressage, but mostly the same. Um, you know, the first day here, we didn't do that many movements out of the test, but just more really worked on his balance and throughness. I think that afternoon or the next morning, we had a bit of a cross-country school again. This is Fordry's um, cross-country schooling field, which is awesome. I think it must be about 50 or 60 acres. It's good turf. And uh, I just wanted to pop uh, Thomas over a couple of cross-country fences before biggest cross-country round of his life which is next week and that picture you saw Eric along with uh, sort of my mentor friend and and uh, teammate Philip Dutton and they were working on Thomas's ride ability here we went through the corners in four strides there on a bit of a bend uh, just to check his turning and then then we decided to do it on three direct strides sort of just the same jump same combination but just a slightly different ride with obviously don't know what to expect at try on but there'll be some jumps which are turning some which will be forward and bold and um, it wasn't too big of a cross-country school he's been he's a good cross-country horse thomas so we just kept it small probably prelim size fences maybe a couple intermediate size fences just popped him in the water here and um you know, it's probably a little bit for me as well, just to confirm that he's in form. Eric's been a great coach. He, uh, he's got zero ego, which is uh, wonderful. So um, Philip and him sort of chat away and uh, between exercises have a bit of a chat. As you can see, Thomas is a good galloper. He's a Tracana bred horse. He's about half thoroughbred and half Tracana. It's by the Mighty Windfall, which is uh, Darren Charchar's uh, Olympic mount. Bred in America. He was a little bit quick going up that up bank, so the boys said just to come and do the up bank to the skinny by itself here. Just to get him thinking. Sort of a bit of an awkward jumper, Thomas, but... Um, he's a good boy. And this was uh, this was yesterday, so this was Thursday at the training camp. Um, we started to really sort of pick on a couple of the movements. This is one of the movements in the dressage test for the four star. She sort of can a half pass to the quarter line, and the change, and uh, we put a couple of rails out just to make sure Thomas stays straight after his flying change. And sort of get me in the habit of, of riding him straight after the change as well. Probably the greenest horse on the team. Um, he's just done one four star at Kentucky this year. Uh, he's a good boy and um, uh, he's a, he's a, he's good on he's good in all three phases. 
not a big horse. I think he's about 16 hands. I think he's 9 or 10 years old. And I've been riding him just over two years. He was sort of carried up to the uh, two-star level by Michael Pollard uh, before he came to me in sort of January two years ago. Again, it's a tough one training for a big competition without my wife yelling at me. So uh, um, Eric and Scott have been doing a good job. Then this morning we had our, our final jump school, uh, my show jumping coach, Richard Pickin, um, jetted or drove down to help me and Philip and Lynn jump. And um, again, it's uh, he's an unusual horse, little Thomas. We don't we figured out jumping him really, really big at home doesn't do much except rattle him. And um, for our final jump school, we just kept it small and, and worked on uh, his ride ability. You know, kept him really, really confident. Wouldn't be the best turner, Thomas. He uh, sort of jumps and then tears off a bit. So here, Richard had us sort of jumping and then doing a nice balanced roll back turn and trying to keep the horse soft and relaxed through the turn. And like I said before, it's sort of small offences. I think here he had us turning sort of in a big circle and you can see that this is almost a cross country exercise where sort of jumping and bending your horse through the turn and no set strides but it, Thomas finds this hard. And same with me actually, just jumping and trying to get your horse to soften and relax. But this is um, pretty good for Thomas because he it's a funny horse. He, he, uh, at home he, he doesn't actually give you the best feel and um, it's important not to, I don't know, pressure him too much or train him too hard or push him too hard at home and just be confident in the fact that come uh, the competition day um, he's, uh, he's very, very reliable and a, a big trial. So obviously it's a change of lifestyle for, for me especially and just having one horse to work all day. Um, so it's been a good opportunity to watch the other riders. The you know We've had uh, Marilyn Little, Lynn Szymanski, Lauren Kiefer, Philip Dutton and um, Will Coleman in the camps. I've been watching them train their horses. Lynn and Philip have both got two horses each so they're a little bit more occupied and then um, yeah, we're at Will Fordry's farm here, and it's a beautiful farm. It's, uh, and his house is awesome. All the all the guys are living in uh, Fordry's house, and it's uh, it's been really good actually. We've done a bit of table tennis and ping pong, a bit of swimming in the afternoon, and we've been working out with Fordry's uh, personal trainer in the morning. So trying to keep busy, but uh, we leave actually tomorrow for Weggs, which is Saturday morning. So. What you're seeing here is the final jump and gallop before we head off tomorrow. And I was a bit dodgy in that turn there. You'd see me chase him and lunge at that um, celebrating the 80s plank vertical. So Richard and Eric scolded me and told me to do it again, land and try and balance him a lot more through this turn. So sitting up here and just steadying him a bit, slowing him and doing a better turn. We've got a bump there, but it's um, jumped it better. Then after our jump school, we uh, went down to Will's Gallop. It's about a mile and an eighth, all going uphill. Just not too steep of a hill. And I didn't run him full blast. I just sort of opened him up and blew him out a little bit and just sort of got him huffing and puffing a bit. He's very, very fit and uh, prepared, so I didn't sort of need to sprint him too much but just more stretch him out and do something a little bit different so like I said tomorrow we're off to uh, the venue and then the uh, the contests of all contests start I think our trot ups Wednesday and uh, yeah it's very exciting